This is the home surveillance video that has much of Petaluma angry. It shows a homeless suspect named Jeffrey Berg allegedly breaking the window of a car with a shovel, and that was just the beginning. This was his favorite car. Miranda Limonchenko lives a couple of blocks away. She found every window broken in her car and another broken in the living room. She's one of 11 victims, mostly on Bernice Courts. I almost don't care so much about the damage as I do like I feel more unsafe. This is his third such attack on homes this year, homes and vehicles. Danielle Gibbs across the street confirmed that information from Petaluma police after finding damage to two of her cars and the bedroom window. And glass flew all over my husband, all over me, all over the bed. Danielle says that after the attack, Jeffrey Berg stood calmly in the street, waited for police and asked for a cigarette. He just looked calm. He looked completely unperturbed. Beyond the damage, what frustrates residents the most is that within hours of his arrest, Berg was a free man again, released from Sonoma County Jail without bail. You can blame COVID for that, they say. Now fast forward to this morning. He was arrested again for assault. There were 11 victims for us on this first call. Uh, our police car was damaged. Uh, an officer was assaulted by him kicking an officer in the stomach. Uh, we would expect that person to stay in custody, especially we arrested him in January for the same thing. But these are strange, stressful COVID times. Technically, it's just property damage. Just don't expect that to satisfy the residents of Bernice Court. I don't feel safe in my home. I know he's out. I know if he gets the itch and he wants to come and do it again or hit the rest of the windows, he can. And I know that if I call the cops and he'll just be out that same night. How frustrating is that? I don't have words. In Petaluma, Wayne Friedman, ABC7 News.